protection. So one possibility is that all possibilities exist, and they're all here at the same time. Do you know how um, uh, animation works? <clears throat> animation is a series of still pictures that if you were to put them together in, let's say, a pages of a book, and then you flip through the pages, it would look like the animation is moving, which is how you do movie TV animation. Now, I've always imagined that a reality is a three-dimensional cube in which, you know, conceptually, let's say you're somewhere in the middle of the cube, and your direction of the future is every direction. So you have infinite directions from where you are. And each of those directions looks exactly like our reality with a small change. And the small change is based on whatever, you know, whatever path you, you take. Now, my understanding of reality, or let, let's say the standard understanding of reality, is that you're a conscious being and you're in this big moving machine. Reality is, is moving all around you, and you're also moving. So it's a bunch of moving stuff. What if the only thing that moves is your point of view? That's how I see the universe. That it, it all exists and always has, and there's no time. It just sits there. All of the possibilities as a solid cube. And the only thing that's changing is your point of perception and which path you follow. And nothing else changes. The universe is static and always has been. And that the Big Bang, the Big Bang is simply a location within the cube. It might be the middle. Imagine the Big Bang is the middle of the cube, and from that middle, all the possibilities. And they just sit there as a solid, and it's only your mind or your... You know, you could say your soul or whatever is passing through it. And as you pass through it, it appears to be moving. But that's because your conscious went through a series of still, still frames. Now, the reason that I uh, mentioned that frame is not because I think it's necessarily true. But it would perfectly explain how you could hack reality. Because you wouldn't be changing anything except your direction. And how hard it would be to change the direction of a mind that is not bound by physical laws. Maybe easy, (laughs) right? It might be be as easy as dreaming. It might be almost something we do automatically. So I just put that weird possibility out there to spin your brains around a little bit. All right. It's going to get weirder. This is going to be one of the most interesting live streams you've ever seen. And we're going to get to Trump persuasion, my sweet spot. So wait for that. All right, uh, let's talk about Ukraine persuasion. Question number one. Remember I said that I believe that Ukrainians would outperform expectations at the beginning of the invasion. And I said primarily because of modern equipment that they would get from NATO and the U.S., and that drones in particular would be the the things that made the difference. But then other people said, drones? Really, Scott? It's really the high Mars. It's the high Mars that are making the difference. And then they're introducing these new kinds of missiles called uh, GLSDB. 